Hey everybody, Donnie B. Learn Pro Recording. Welcome to October. October at Learn Pro Recording is going to be template month. All month long, we're talking about templates. We're sharing templates. We're showing you templates. We're explaining what templates are and how to use them. Not only in Pro Tools, but multiple DAWs as well. We're going to talk about Logic. We're going to talk about Luna. We might even touch on the new Studio One. You never know at Learn Pro Recording, do you? So if you guys are ready to talk about templates, let's go. This first week, what I want to share with you is some mastering templates inside Pro Tools. So I've got some free stuff for you here. Go grab your free ones. F two free uh, templates on this first week. It's all about mastering inside Pro Tools. So if you guys have Pro Tools, go grab these. Uh, go grab these cool templates, man. One is using um, simply all the stock plugins inside Pro Tools, and it works really well. It's actually the one that I use. Um, the only thing that's different about that one is I use a different meter. Um, I, I don't have the I don't have a stock meter that I use. I use a, a third party meter. I left that one in here just so you guys can see the meter that I'm using. If you want to go get it, that meter's by Klanghelm. It's the VUMT, and uh, it's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. Um, the next one is all about Waves plugins because everybody's got Waves plugins because Waves is always on sale, right? So and Waves are Waves Waves plugins are pretty dope for that kind of thing. And the I love the meter in Waves as well. The WLM meter is pretty awesome. Hey, I'm going to take you over to the computer now and I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Uh, don't forget while you're down there picking up your uh, your free template, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please like this channel and subscribe to it. We're always giving cool stuff away and doing cool stuff like this for you. So let's head over to the computer now and I'll show you some cool stuff about these templates. Okay, guys. Cool. This is the uh, this is one of the templates that uh, that I've, I'm giving you today. Uh, this is a Pro Tools session, and it is set up with a template for mastering, just using stock plugins. On this one, the only thing I didn't use that was stock was this meter, this Klanghelm uh, VUMT. I uh, more information about that. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's really cheap. I think it's like twenty bucks, man. It's awesome. Um, I do like this one. I do have this as an RMS meter, and I do have it mono summed. I only need to see one. VU. Okay, so uh, this session is more about the routing. It's less about the actual mastering process. It's less about setting levels and setting stuff in the plugins. Um, that's for another. That's for another day. This one's simply about the routing. So let's jump into the routing. Uh, you put your audio track here on this track. Uh, that routes out to a submaster. Then that submaster has all the plugins on it, including the dither. In this scenario, you do want to print your dither. Okay, so that routes out to the input of this audio track, which is where you will record your your ultimate two track that's been mastered. Okay, so this is um, make sure that you have your track initialized so that you can actually hear what you're doing when you're ready to print it. Of course, you're going to go print with record. Okay, so have this turned on so you can hear everything. Then I have the meter set on the master fader. Um, I only need to see the meter. I don't need to print through the meter, just in case the meter's adding any any kind of, I don't know, sonic quality to the sounds. It's Everything's pretty much labeled here. I mean, the important part about this is actually the actual routing of things and how things get recorded and printed internally. Yes, you could honestly bounce this out, and it's, I, I, I feel it's different. This is just my opinion. I'm sure it's. I'm sure everybody's got their own opinion about whether you bounce or whether you print. The reason that I would print instead of bounce is if I hear something along the way and I got to make a change, I can stop and I can punch in. Does that make sense? I can punch in along the way. Like if I'm recording here and then I got to stop here, I can punch in from here. I don't have to start the whole bounce all over again. That's part of the reason that I actually print internally rather than bouncing out. Now, the math is different whether you bounce and whether you print. So it kind of depends on your system. Uh, I myself have an analog console, so I may actually print through my analog console sometimes. It, it's just, it's entirely up to you and how you're feeling and how the song's feeling, that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to show you the other session that I've got involved with this, which includes Waves plugins. Let's go there. Okay, this is exactly the same routing. If you look at the routing, uh, the routing is exactly the same. You got your audio track here, which comes in, goes out bus one and two in bus one and two into the submaster, out bus three and four into the print track. Of course, remember you have this initialized so you can hear things. And when you're ready, you can get it ready for recording, okay? So there's that. And then it comes out of uh, console one and two, which is the main output. So you can actually hear what you're talking about or hear what you're listening to. And 
Um, in this one, I'm using the WLM meter. This is a great meter. You can actually put in all your, all, all your requirements from, say, Netflix or Hulu or wherever you're sending the project. Now this one, notice I've got the dither, um, I've got the dither uh, bypass. It's exactly the same dither. It's the one that comes with Avid. Uh, it, it is bypassing this because this limiter actually has a dither built in. So I may try this one and see if I notice any difference between this one and this one. But that's a little different. Again, that's going to be a different. That's going to be a different video because this is not about the mastering process. This is about setting up the mastering template. So I'm giving everybody these two templates today. Uh, download them, change them however you need to. You can get rid of the comments if you don't like what I said there. Uh, that's just to explain what I did and why I did it and where things go and that kind of thing. So this is the one with Waves. I mean, most everybody has these Waves plugins. On this one, on this one with the Waves, I did add this little stereo spreader. I do like this spreader from uh, from Waves. It does add a little bit of uh, depth to the stereo field, and I do like it. I do use it um, when I use Waves plugins for this stuff. Um, I, I, I I do go back and forth between the stock and this wave setup, depending on the song, depending on the genre, it's just me. And and that's a that's a personal thing for engineers as you guys do it the way you do it. I just really wanted to show everyone this routing, more or less to give you a template. So this is a template. Um, when you do come up with, say you get your own routing, say you get your own system that you like, uh, if you wanna save it as a template, which we're gonna talk about again on an extensive, we're probably gonna do that on the blog post this week. But real simple, you just go here and save it as a template, give it a name, tell it what what section of the templates you want to save it in, music or or whatever. I, I mean, I might have one as mixing, I might have another one as po as podcasting, I might have another one as voiceover sessions and masterings and things like that. And then give it a name. Uh, you can just name it whatever you want. Um, and the next time you need to open one, you just go open. When you're ready to open a thing, you just, you know, you're ready to open a mastering session, you just go here and go navigate to the wherever you put it and then there it is there's your template it's already ready to go it's just going to speed up your flow speed up uh speed up how you get started and that way you're not spending a bunch of time making tracks and trying to remember your routings and things like that this is already set up already ready to go this is what makes templates and track presets so uh so cool is that you you know you're going to save a ton of time especially if it's you working in your studio and time is uh time is money in this in 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 the majority of what we do time is definitely money so hey check this out enjoy these things if you guys have any uh, uh requests or suggestions please leave them in the comments below i'm going to be checking these and let me know if you need anything this whole month is going to be all about templates we're going to be sharing these templates uh, next week, I've got some other templates I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be sharing some mixed templates, some vocal recording sessions templates. I've even got some celebrity vocal session templates that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, you know, from uh, clients that we've worked with here at this studio. Um, I, I do have their templates, and I'm going to share those with you this month. So enjoy. Thank you guys so much. Happy October, and we will see you guys next week on the podcast and probably on Wednesday for the blog post. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you guys on the next one. I'm Donnie B. I'm out of here. Peace.